2-5, you're going to solve the absolute value equation. Number 7, you're going to solve each equation. For this part, I'm going to cover the first four problems. Okay, let's take a look. Number 8, it's the absolute value of r minus 6. Um, it's less than 3. Please understand that the absolute value allows you to split this into the uh, negative. Okay, and then the positive version of the equation. Okay, that o is always the case, right? So the positive version would just be r minus 6 equals to negative 3. The positive version would just be r minus 6 equals to 3. That's it, All right? So we're going to add 6 to both sides. Okay, so you get r equals to 3. Add 6 to both sides. You get r equals to 9. So these are your two answers r equals to 3 and r equals to 9. All right, so um, I'm just going to borrow this because this is how we also do b, okay? This becomes a negative part, so I'm going to write the negative version. Uh, 6r minus 9 equals to negative 27. The positive is 6r minus 9 equals to 27, okay? We're going to add 9 to both sides. Understand this cancels, right? 6r equals to, I think this is negative 18, right? Divide 6 to both sides. This cancel, leaving you with r equals to negative 3. <clears throat> the numbers are the same, so the operators are the same. So you're going to add 9 to both sides. Leaving you 6r is equal to 36. Divide both sides by 6. This cancels, this cancels, leaving you with r equals to 6. So your two answers here are r equals to negative 3 and r equals to 6. All right, same process here. Uh, that splits into two equations. Uh, <coughs> you get 9a minus 7 equals to negative 70. And 9a minus 7 equals to positive 70. Plus 7 to both sides, you get 9a equals to... Uh, negative 63 and then divide by, by 9 to both sides you get a equals to this I know 3 goes into both of them um, no actually um, 63 goes into 9 that is um, 7 times right so it's negative 7 okay add 7 to both sides you get 9a is equal to 77. Divide by 9, divide by 9. You get a is equal to 77 over 9. Okay, this cancels, right? This cancels, this cancels, this cancels. All right, so your answer is a equals to negative 7, and a is equal to 77 over 9. So that's a 9, and, and that's an a. You know what? Let me copy this so you can see I'm talking about the letter A here All right so I'm referring to the letter A here and here I'm also referring to the letter A okay all right there you go all right B <coughs> don't jump to conclusions about try to split this Okay, don't do that. Notice that all three problems here, right, that the absolute value was by itself. Question D, is the absolute value by itself? No, there's a plus 6 here. So what you need to do is subtract 6 to both sides. Okay, Leave it, this cancels. This gets you absolute value of B is equal to 16 minus 6 is 10. You see how the absolute value is by itself? Now you split it. Okay, so the negative version of it would be uh, just b is equal to negative 10. And then positive version would just be equals to 10. All right, that's how you do it. Okay, so there you go. That is the first part.